Hey there, Survivors. Cougar here, back with more of the Planet Crafter. We're picking up after I've been running around doing some stuff and something just unlocked that I wanted to share with you because we've been waiting on this. It's the Tier 2 Ore Extractor. So now we can run around and put down ore extractors in all the places where we're going to need them. Like the Super Alloy Cave, the Iridium Cave, the... Um, oops, good shit. I didn't mean to do that. The Uranium Cave, all sorts of cool stuff. So let me use my pinnable blueprints mod to pin that ore extractor. We will need three Osmium, two, three Super Alloy, wow, and two Iridium Rods. Iridium Rods should not be a problem. I wonder if we should bring enough for two of these. Let's see if we have enough here. We do, I believe. So maybe we can build two while we're out. And there we go, another blueprint that we've been waiting for, the Tree Spreader Tier 2, so that we can actually start growing some trees here on land. We do have some tier spreader, uh, some Tree Spreader Tier 1s built. I built more after building, I think we built one or two with you guys, and now I've built more. So hopefully these are, well, they're certainly helping to increase the oxygen and the biomass but hopefully they'll start building some trees along the shoreline there too. But for- Hold up. Sidebar, Your Honor. Okay, future Cougar here dropping in to say that I'm about to spend the next hour fundamentally misunderstanding how tree spreaders work. Tree spreaders, like flower spreaders, but unlike grass spreaders and algae growers, require a seed to work. You have to put a seed in the thing to make it work. Um, but those seeds are not, you can't find those out in the world. You have to make them yourself, which is where the DNA manipulator comes in. So up here at the top of the DNA manipulator, show DNA recipes, and it shows you that you combine a tree bark, a mutagen, and a seed, either a grass seed or a flower seed, to make different kinds of tree seeds. And then you take these tree seeds and you plug them into the tree spreaders and you get trees. So we do actually have some trees growing right outside the base right now, but you're going to have to wait until the next episode to see them. For now, just uh, ignore everything I say about tree spreaders in this episode because basically none of it's right, too. Now back but for now, we are going to head out to the Super Osmium Cave and build our first tier two ore extractor out there and then build another one hmm. i think the next one might go in the sulfur fields because we have gotten pretty much all the sulfur we're going to get off of this map i think we cleaned up a bunch yesterday and i went back to a few caves when you guys weren't looking and i cleared up stuff from sulfur from inside those caves and so on so Let's just get an extractor down here. That way, maybe. That could not be. And let that cook for a while. Uh, see, the tier two extractor has the big storage chest. And now we can probably go build one. Honestly, I don't even know if you need the tier two extractor for sulfur. It is possible that we only needed a tier one back here, but now that we've got the tier twos anyway, and if, if anybody knows the answer to that, do you need a tier two to get sulfur from the fields here? Uh, let me know. But we've got a tier two, we've got what we need to make a tier two. So let's just make one here because I don't think there's any sulfur left in these fields. Hmm, how about someplace close to the base? How about right down here? Tier two. Benga. Great. And who knows, we might even have enough to do another one someplace else. But before we do that, let's make a less. Since we just used six osmium, let's make a last trip through here and see if. So we could build one here in the osmium cave. We're going to be needing a lot of this. Let's see. Did we get all the osmium out of here? Thought, thought we left a couple in here. No? Yep. Here's one. And then there's a bunch more in the cave out past the lake, the other side of the lake. Yeah, out over there where that the marker is, the beacon marker. 
should we head out there? Let's see, because our, our inventory is pretty empty. Not as empty as it probably should be for this kind of venture. But let's give it a shot. Yeah, I guess I should have dropped off all the sulfur that I ran around and picked up yesterday. Nope, oh, nope, oxygen level low. We should probably head back. Oh gosh, I hope we make it. And I hope we have oxygen on us in case we don't. I think we're going to make it. It's going to be close, but we'll make it. Yeah, it wasn't even that close. All right, and that gives us a chance to drop off all this stuff that we're carrying around that we don't need. Like this, 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 and this, and this, and that, and that, and these even. But let's keep them all together over here. And then, did we have oxygen on us? We did have oxygen, but no water. So let's carry some water with us this time. And we've got enough iridium rods to do two more. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I think uranium cave next, because we're down to our last little dribs and drabs of uranium. Now we can um, call down another uranium rocket. You know, the uranium, uranium asteroids. But let's go out here first and make sure that we have enough osmium... And with the tier two uh, tree spreader unlocked, guys, we are pretty much wrapping up this playthrough at this point. Because we'll put down the tree spreaders, and then we just need to be a little bit patient. And you know, we'll we can, I can build up the base. I can do stuff on my own time. There's another zeo zeo light. I can do stuff on my own time, and then we'll come back and check in on everything when we've got a bunch of trees growing. But that's going to take quite a while, and there's not much left to do. We've done a lot of exploration, probably explored just about everything there is to explore. So, yeah, maybe we just build some tree spreaders, and then... Take a little break and I'll check back in in a you know a few couple of weeks or whatever when, when those things have grown. And then we're gonna set it aside because next is just a long, long, long drawn out climb towards insects. And the reason it takes a really long time is because that's all there is in the game right now. So it just takes a ridiculously long time at this stage of early access development to get to insects. And I, I, honestly, I don't think it's worth it. I, I'd rather come back to it in a couple of months after the next update and get all and 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 do it at a, at a more measured pace. So it's not taking, you know, six million years to, to go from trees to insects. Looking pretty good. I think probably got most, if not all the osmium. The zeolite, uh, I'll show you why we will need zeolite in just a minute. In fact, we haven't unlocked that, have we? Um, I'm not going to check right now because we're running a little low on O2. Just grab a few more of these before we leave. I think that's probably about it. Yeah, and we could build a tier 2 ore extractor in here to bring in more osmium. Or we can do it in the, the cave that's a little closer to base. We are zipping around on my tier 3 jetpack. Alright, so have we unlocked... What was the other thing I wanted to show you? Uh, it was the next... Yes, it was the nuclear fusion generator. So we have unlocked that. If we need more power, we can build one of those. That is going to require pulsar quartz, which is made using the zeolite. So, and super alloy. So we're going to have to continue gathering the zeolite as we find it. Shoot, in fact, I may even drop an iridium. Nah, that's all right. We can come back and get that zeolite if we need more. I'm trying to remember that it's there. Good luck. But yeah, let's go make another tier two extractor somewhere. 
something in a uranium cave. And then we can continue sending up rockets to increase the pressure and the oxygen and so on. But yeah, look guys, we've got tree spreaders, algae spreaders, doing some work here. Uh, iridium, let's just condense some of this iridium. And hmm, that may be it for osmium. We may have gotten all the pickup loosable, lo the, the loose pickupable osmium we're going to get. So maybe we should, that should be our next priority is to build one in the osmium cave. Since we're not really needing the uranium just this second. And we don't need uranium to build the tier two extractors either. Right? Right, just super alloy, which could be a problem. We may be all out of super alloy. Even though I ran around and grabbed a bunch more, it goes so fast, which is why the first one we built was... Ah, aluminum, goodness. <clears throat> okay. Um... All right, hold on. Dropping, dropping, um, dropping one of those because we're going to come back for it. In the meantime, more sulfur, more water, and let's go see about getting some aluminum in them. Yeah, I could have stopped here and checked this on the way back, but we were full anyway, so it doesn't, wouldn't have mattered. That is it for aluminum. Not much. But enough to make us a couple of super alloy. And get us another one of these. We could build another tier one ore extractor out there on the, the aluminum planes. If we're running that low on aluminum. I don't know why we should be though. Huh. Hmm. We got more zeolite than anything. Oh, that's right. I, I just remembered. I downloaded that mod that automatically stuffs things into storage for you. So we hit L and it's going to find a place for all that good stuff. Unfortunately, I have not set up the exclusions yet, which means I lost my food and water too. But we can do something about that. Food, water, and oxygen all went boy boy. Okay, good enough. Just empty these and then make some more super alloy. Okay, that's enough for one more of these. I don't think we're going to be able to do two more. Nope, we're going to need more basic gathering for that. But at that point, we're probably going to be in a position to run out and do our first harvest from the one we just set up. One, two, three, and two iridium rods. Okay, good. So what did I say we were going to do? Um, osmium first? Yeah. Back to this osmium cave. Although this is kind of in the opposite direction. Well, it's not really if you take into account the one we just set up out in the sulfur fields. Because I was thinking we could go back to that cave we were just in back on the other side of the lake. And that is out toward where the uranium mine's going to be. Now these, these things are power hogs. Would I just fly over sulfur? These things are power hogs, but I've, I've done a little... Hopefully I've gotten us a, a bit of a, a buffer on the power. Okay, good work. Keep at it, guys. And then I'm just going to have to run around and do some basic gathering here to get us some more super alloy. So give me a minute and I'll meet you back at base.
Okay, we're back, and uh, to be honest, I didn't really take note of exactly what it was we were missing from the Super Alloy Blueprint, but let's see. Oh, aluminum still. Oh, we used up all the aluminum. Okay. Hmm. In which case, I don't think there's much else we can do until we come across some aluminum. Hmm. I'm thinking. Just hit that thing to get rid of all that stuff. Yeah, water, food, and oxygen. And a little offloady. Wow, we are full up on stuff. Should we make a rocket just to use up some stuff? We got a lot of stuff. Uh, do we have any engines? One, but that's my backup. That's my emergency engine. I'm not going to use that unless I have to. Uh, so what do we need most? Oxygen, it looks like. So why don't we send up another seed spreader or biomass rocket? Just to get rid of some of this stuff we have. Seed spreader rocket needs super alloy, but we have, didn't we make a couple just now? Oh, it all went into storage. Boink. So those are the two that we would need to send up a rocket and then a bacteria sample, mutagen and tree bark. Bacteria sample, we need two. And we just need more water, that's easy. What happened? Oh, what was I doing? Uh, but she's another bacteria sample, and then a mutagen, and then we will just need some tree bark and a rocket engine, and we should be good to go. Rocket engine. Oh, that takes a super alloy too. Shoot, in which case now we can't until we find another piece of aluminum. Hmm. All right, so you stay here, you stay here, all you guys stay here. Yeah, let's put that someplace where we can find it. Here. Yeah, same with the rocket engine. Um, one place that we might be able to find some stray aluminum is back in the labyrinth back in here. It is findable back in here. As long as we haven't used it all up. Remember when we built these on like day three? Yeah, good times, good times. There's some aluminum. Well, one piece is better than no pieces, but I'll bet we could find at least one more if we keep looking. And we'll stop at the actual ore extractor on the way back and see if there are any there. Look at this, a flower growing way the heck out here in the labyrinth. Thank you. That's... I think going to be it. Yeah, because I, I scoured this place fairly thoroughly looking for more... There's one. For more super alloy. Hey, and two more. And two super alloy. Good. Okay. Whoops. Okay, so let's head back. And stop at the extractor on the way. Oh, 
Oh, uh, just to mention, I should have mentioned this off the top, but I've turned off the music. I've just, I've heard those two tracks a million and one times now, and they were good for the first million times. It was just when we hit a million and one that I, would, I had to turn them off. So if you want to have your own music playing in the background, feel free. Hydration level low, but re reminder, we've got our filter on now, our suit filter. Okay, so that was good. So that gave us enough to send up a rocket and build another... Let's build another extractor first. So, three super alloy. What what happened to the one? That I just said I was going to put someplace smart so we didn't lose it. I thought it was in here. There it is. Uh, two super alloy. So we're going to do the extractor first. Three super alloy, three osmium. And two iridium rod. And get some green beans before we go. I should probably do a little bit of farming here. You guys don't mind, right? Hang in there. My farming skills are coming along. I actually have stuff growing lots of stuff apparently all right eggplants stay here whoa full everything's full And let's go to the uranium cave to make another one. Do I have backup stuff? Yes. Let's leave the uranium here, the, all this other stuff here, just in case we find other things we want to pick up. Eh, space food. Eh, I'm just going to eat that. Not even any sense in holding on to that space food anymore now that we've we're growing our own green beans well there's the uranium cave right down there but you want to see something cool before we go back in there watch look at take a look at this remember the stargate that was out here Wait a minute. I guess we have to get closer. Yeah, there we go. Look, it's growing stuff. Looks a little bit different than the last time we were out here, eh? Look at those big trees. They grew fast. I think we've been down to this. No, we haven't. Or maybe we have. I forget. Is this one of the ones you can open? Yeah. Cool. All right. So, Lerma, Blueprint, Uranium, and Iridium. I think that's all we're going to need out of here. Maybe some silicon. Anything else? Not really. There's no cave down here, is there? We haven't really been back in that way. We could we could explore back in there if, if you want. But first things first, a little oxygen and then a tier two extractor or extractor. In the uranium cave. Ah! Well, we're going to leave that, but there goes our plan for exploring, unless I can build some, maybe some solar panels. We're going to need aluminum. 
I can build some wind turbines. That's probably not going to get our power back online. No, I think we would need like a hundred of those. Um... And our only aluminum is back at base. Shoot. Let's try one little solar panel. It's probably not going to do it. Nope. Shoot. All right. Well, the heck with the exploring then. We got we got to get every th all our power back online. Pretty sure we're going to be able to make at least a tier one nuclear plant. Okay, so let's see. I don't think we can do a tier two. Well, we're going to need super alloy and three uranium rods for that, which we don't have. We could probably do a tier, we could do a tier one if we have enough to make more super alloy. Huh. Just looking, we've got one tier one back there, but I think we only have one other uranium rod. Yeah, and not enough to make more. No, one, two, three, four, five, six. No. Hmm. And the super alloy is going to take aluminum. Or we can use the aluminum to just throw down some solar panels. I think just to get things back online, I'm just going to put down some solar panels and we'll figure things out, other things out later. Wow, still short. Well, that's that. In which case, is our new priority sending up a ship to bring down more uranium so that we can build another reactor? Now, ideally, we could do the pulsar quartz, um, and we could do the, the new fusion reactor, the nuclear fusion reactor, but we're going to need a lot of super alloy for that. Probably, we probably could make enough pulsar quartz right now, although that takes uranium and iridium as well. Hmm. I think uh, it's all about aluminum, which is weird because it shouldn't be at this point. At this late stage. Well, there's that. I think we're going to send up a uranium rocket one of the pressure rockets that brings down the uranium stuff. There might even be some still lying around somewhere. I think that's the, is that the silicon or the cobalt? Silicon, I think. Ugh, care. We'll bring up both just in case. Uh, we want the attraction rocket. Now, I was playing on a new save last night, and this had a sound effect that went with it. So I don't know if it was something that was added recently and you have to start a new game to hear it. But anyway. Okay, now we just got to give those things a minute to fall, and then we'll come back and clean them all up. But in the meantime, we can run around and do some collection from our... Yeah. From the stuff that we just built, we can start collecting this stuff up.
Yeah, speaking of starting a new game, there is a random start, uh, random location start option, and that is fun. I mean, that does change the game quite a bit. Me, I ended up just trekking all the way back to where I had been building my bases, but it's probably worth it to see. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at all that sulfur. Shoot. That's a lot of sulfur. I don't want to use up all the space here. we got to save some space. I'm going to bring some cobalt to replace the stuff that we just used on that rocket. But we're going to save some space for Super Alloy, hopefully, out at this next cave. There's more zeolite. We should probably grab that. And the new playthrough that I'm on is actually my third playthrough, and I'm still enjoying it. It's still a lot of fun, so it's definitely there's definitely some replay value included here. We were low on silicon too, but there's nothing I'm willing to give up except maybe that blueprint. But there we have it, steady supply of super alloy and a steady supply of sulfur, which were the two things that we were really running low on. And we could build a tier two extractor out in the aluminum fields if those continue to give us problems. But I think the aluminum was only giving us problems because we were using it to create so many super alloys. So we should be okay now. We'll see how, if this levels off a little bit. So this is kind of the midpoint of the game. This is your gameplay, how the, how the loop changes. Now it's kind of about zipping around and picking up stuff from your tier two extractors and sending up rockets. So it's interesting how the gameplay kind of morphs over time. More zeolite here. Let's just hang on to those and see about socking away some of this sulfur. That's a lot of sulfur. Good. So yeah, call me an Uber. Oh, I forgot. I have that that one press button thing now. Get rid of the chip. These last two sulfurs, and oh, no, I'll just hang on to the sulfur, get rid of the Lerma. And go back out and check our aluminum extractor. And it looks like the meteorites that brought down the uranium have started to dis dissolve. So let's get some uranium and send up another rocket. Oh no, we weren't going to set up another rocket with this. We were going to build a another nuclear plant. Although now that we have a bunch of super alloys, we might just want to make a, fu a fusion reactor. check to see if one splashed down here in the water. Does not look like it. Bunch of rocks over here. Uh, I, I don't think that's the remains of a meteorite. I think that's just a bunch of rocks. I don't see any uranium. There's probably a bunch out in the lake that we can get. But the reason we wanted this stuff is so that we could generate more power. And instead, why don't we try to build our very first fusion reactor?
So what's that going to take? Let's pin that. That is five pulsar quartz and four super alloys. Well, we have the super alloys now. Yes, we have those. Now let's see about making the... the, the, the pulsar quartz, which I think that... It's just a little bit too far away for the bio labs, a little too far away from our zeolite store and our iridium store. So we're bringing it back here with us. Pulsar cord, zeolite, osmium, uranium, and iridium. That's one, two, three, four, and five. of these and up this stuff off and this should give us tons of power so how much power are we at now uh, we've only got 8.5 available but let's see what happens when we build this bad boy I'm going to build it a little farther away from the base it's getting kind of crowded over here we'll pick up that uranium on the way back okay Nuclear fuel. That's it. Oh, it it's built indoors. I had no idea. This is the first. Oh no. Okay, outside. It just needs to be someplace somewhat flat, I guess. It's tiny. It's so compact. That gives us 1835 kilowatts. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. Now we can deconstruct those temporary solar panels I put down. I'll come back and get the rest of the uranium when those rocks have completely dissolved. For now, though, let's just see if there's more out here. I guess I should have paid a little closer attention to where those were landing. There's some. only thing we might want now is a tier 2 ore extractor in an iridium cave, like the one right over there. Should we do that? Yeah, let's unpin our... Wait a minute, let's check our power now. Yeah, so now we... So we went from 8.5 to 1,843.5. Yeah, Iridium Rod might be a problem in terms of building another Tier 2 extractor. Let's see. Tier 2 extractor. Yeah, we need two for that. There is still Iridium back in that cave back there. Let's see. <laughs> I gotta eat some green beans if they're grown. Nope, not yet. I might have some though. Oh, the heck with it. Let's just eat a squash or two. Maybe a, a food. And then what were we doing? Um, yeah, hydration level low. I know I'm going to fix that right now. All right, I'm going to go back and get a little iridium out of this cave back here. And there is another iridium cave back in, I forget what that biome's called. It's past the labyrinth, but before you get to the, um, the, the Stargate. I've just been calling it the Grand Canyon.
Nice. That's going to be it. Yep, this cave is done. Done, done, done. But that should do it for, in terms of making another iridium rod. And then we can make another ore extractor. This, this is deconstructible, right? Yeah. As long as we're passing by, let's check for more aluminum. Yeah, but this is getting kind of full too. Get some other stuff out of here. Okay, another iridium rod. And now we should be able to, three super alloy, two iridium rod, and three osmium. And now let's go get, shoot. I know this, this is just a horrible mess, I know. I'll spend some time organizing these, I swear. I swear someday it's going to happen. Going to get all organized. But in the meantime, how about a tier 2 extracta in here? Sweet. Now what? Should we run out and do some more FedEx check? Let's see. I think we're okay on the sulfur for now until we start sending up more rockets. Let's get more super alloy and then swing by and get more, get some osmium out of the one that we just built recently. Next on the building agenda is gonna be some tier two tree spreaders, but that's probably gonna require, oh gosh. Well, apparently we didn't empty that out enough, and it didn't give us any super alloy. And it's at this point where you just, you, you kind of think about building a shredder, because you're just, you end up with so much stuff that you don't need. A shredder just basically destroys uh, stuff stuff you throw in there. And we're going to have more iron and more loose materials than we know what to do with. Okay, let's see if my new mod will find places for all this stuff. Found places for a lot of it, but not all of it. And it took away my space food. I think, yeah, everything else is full here. Can we make some more super alloy? Just to clear up some space. That's it. Okay, so tier two tier tree spreader. What do we need for that? That requires tier two fertilizer, which I'm pretty sure we can make. And bacteria and tree bark. I'm gonna look about looking to see if we can make two and then zeolite. We may even be able to make more than two. We may have to go on an algae run. So we've got two of those, five of those, two of those. Tier two fertilizer requires fertilizer, algae, and methane, and squash, and methane cartridges, all of which we have. So now we have enough of those, and enough of those. We can make two tier two tree spreaders, guys. Where do we want trees? 
we want some right here at base? Of course we do. How about how about over here though? Oh, it's huge. I'm gonna deconstruct those solar panels in a sec. Did I make three of them? No. Okay, well that's one tree spreader. And how about one over here? Two tree spreaders. They might be kind of close together. But let's see how long this takes to make us a tree. And in the meantime, what? What were we talking about doing? I could probably do more of these tree spreaders. Let's see what else we need. Yeah? Well, we need... Okay, algae. We need some algae. And a little tree barker. I think that was the last of our tree bark in storage. But we've got some here. really understand how the tier one tree spreaders work. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for them to drop some trees on the shoreline. And I haven't seen any yet. see about making another one? We need more fertilizer for that, but we can do that. Sweet. And then, so that's two of those, two of those. We need two bacteria sample. Ah, need a bottle of water. You know what? I'm just gonna get so much water taking up space in the form of ice. I'm just gonna make some out of ice. And what do we need it for? The bacteria sample? Okay, so we've got enough super alloy for two, enough bacteria samples for two. We just need two zeolite. And two more. These are probably power hogs too, but I'm feeling we're, we're probably okay for a while power wise with that new fusion reactor down. Jeez, those things are big. Those are the biggest construction other than the launch platform, I think. It's huge. Give me trees. I want trees. Trees, please. Okay, how about we just take a minute and admire our handiwork. No. Nope. Ow. <laughs> Oops. Okay, why am I having so much trouble with this today? There we go. Yeah. Our planet. She's coming along. She are coming along. All right, now what? Let's drop some of this stuff. There's any room. Yeah. Do we need our oxygen capsule, though? I have been known to let that slide. Where'd it go? Ah, dang, damn it. Where'd it go? Where did you find another tree cap or uh, oxygen capsule to stuff that in with? Silly mod. There it is. Okay. Now, get rid of those. That. Let's go do something fun and different. Like explore that area that I said we were going to explore out on the other side of the uranium cave. How about if I meet you guys 
wait just a minute checks see if there's any new aluminum here and then we'll go see we should probably build a, spr a shredder here to get rid of all that s excess stuff that we're not going to use but i think they're somewhat expensive let's see shredder uh, super alloy explosive powder and osmium and uranium. So, yeah, kind of expensive just to have a place to throw your stuff away. I'll meet you guys out by the uranium cave. Let's see what's back up this direction. Oh, another hidden bunker. Cool beans. Should we... Let's try it. We, we have a capsule not too far away. That is another fusion reactor, but we can't deconstruct it. Nope. Mm, aluminum. Uh, I'm kind of done with all the rest of that stuff. Take you, 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 and a Nulna and a Lirma. That's it. Oh, yes, that reminds me. So it's been six months since the crash, and I'm barely surviving. My main goal is to build a rocket and leave this place forever. The planet is cursed. I can feel it. I'll have to go back to the crash site. I think there was a secret room in the control bay, a deconstructible wall somewhere near the main screens, but it's been a while. I can hardly remember. We did that. We, we visited that site. That was the little um, outpost that we found. And yes, that reminds me, I know, guys, I have been remiss about reading all the messages that we've been getting. And I'll do that for, for you guys, with you guys, in just a minute. Just make sure there's nothing, no caves or anything back here. No. no. All right, let's go top off our oxygen. And we'll continue exploring back in here. As long as we're here, should we check on uranium? Sure. Oh, yeah. Wow. Let's go the other way. A little dark now to be exploring. We'll figure something out. Slightly green back in here, but not really that much greenery. That that feels like the end there. I don't. I'm pretty sure there's not going to be anything beyond this big dead zone. Yeah, this this feels like the end. For now, I mean, they will continue to expand back in this area, but I'm not I'm feeling like. Nah. Oh, not fully baked yet. Bring it on, Shai Hulud. So. Now we are back in the area where we found that little outpost with the wall that we were able to deconstruct that took us to that weird room with all the the, the message received um, screens sitting around. Looks like there's... did I miss ir Iridium here? I think it's a little too early to hope for any trees yet. Something tells me it's going to take a bit of time before we start seeing those. Wow. Yeah. 
Well, now we have plenty of uranium, but we don't even need it, really, for, since we built that fusion reactor. How much of that is left, actually? The power. <laughs> we still have 1,360 power available. Alright, well, it's just kind of killing time now. We're just, we can keep sending up rockets. And we can continue running around and retrieving stuff from our miners. But really, it's just about a little bit of patience letting those trees grow so that we can call it a, a playthrough for this version of Early Access until the next version comes out. We need a titanium. Zeolite. I still think there's a golden chest in that cave somewhere that I haven't been able to find. And I have looked. Believe me, I have looked. Uh, are we okay on sulfur? You know what, I'll hit the sulfur on the way back if we have any room left over, but I want to make sure that we have enough to pick up any super alloy that we find out at this next site. One, two, three, four, five, that's it. Yeesh. Just trying to decide what to bring back with me, because we're going to have to make some more of these if we want to keep building tree spreaders. Which means more fertilizer, which means more sulfur. So I'm going to stop here and get all the sulfur we can out of this one. Okay, guys, well, you have seen now kind of what the mid to late game gameplay loop looks like in terms of retrieving stuff from your tier two extractors and sending up rockets and building tree spreaders. Um, so I think we're going to call it an episode here. It'll be a short episode because I'm going to condense a lot of that travel down. But um, we're going to pick this up. I'm going to keep an eye on this. I'm going to keep playing around here, maybe tweak the base a little bit and keep an eye on the tree spreaders. And when we get some actual trees down, we'll check back in again and then set it on a shelf and wait for the next early access update. So for the time being, thanks for watching, everybody. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. There'll be more coming eventually. Stay safe, survivors.